Additional support comes from Unbound, a project-based education company that prepares young adults for life through their leadership and development program, Ascend. Enrollment ends July 31st. Good morning. It's Monday, July 12th. I hope you've been loving Top Story. Do make sure that you like and subscribe below. On today's full Worldwide show, a drone footage catches the beautiful movements of a flock of sheep. Now, this is Top Story. That is correct. <laughs> That's 14-year-old Zaila Avant-Garde with the winning word, Zayla beat out 209 other competitors in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Now, one word gave her a bit of trouble, Nepeta, an ancient flowering plant, but she pulled through. Zayla calls spelling her side hobby, but she still practiced for seven hours a day, memorizing language roots and linguistic patterns. She studied 13,000 words each day, but says she doesn't go overboard with the spelling. After all, she has regular schoolwork too. All that practice paid off. She took home a $50,000 prize. Not bad for a side hobby. It's time to spell that word. And your word is querimonious. Querimonious. Q U A R A. All right, I give up. <laughs> I give up. I guess I'm not going to beat Zaila Amangard at spelling anytime soon. And I'm not going to break her other records either because the speller has more than just one impressive hobby. Zayla calls spelling a little hors d'oeuvre, but her main dish is basketball. She's really into it, and she shows off her skills for all to see on Instagram. You can see her talent here. She started dribbling and shooting hoops when she was five years old. Now, she set three Guinness World Records for dribbling multiple basketballs. This one is from November 2020. Zayla set the record for most bounce juggles in one minute using four basketballs. Her goal was 240, she hit 255, and she's a percussionist. Zayla is homeschooled, which gives her time to pursue both spelling and basketball. After she graduates, she wants to go to Harvard, and then is eyeing a future as a coach in the NBA. If she doesn't become a neuroscientist or go to work for NASA, of course, or well, maybe she'll do all three, who knows? Before we go today, we want to let you know about some webinars over the summer to help you use World Watch to build news literacy and biblical discernment in students. You'll hear from panelists who explain how they're using World Watch. The sessions are for homeschools and families on Tuesdays from 2 to 2.30, and the sessions for schools and classrooms are on Thursdays from 2 to 2.30. Webinars run through the end of August with attendees receiving a $5 Amazon card for simply showing up. Make sure you sign up at worldwatch.news schools. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.